When it comes to construction, there's so many different types of tape. How do you know which one to use, where to use it, why you're using it? It's a little bit mind boggling. Let's take a look at a few right now. So I'm going to start out with painter's tape. I think we're all pretty familiar with that. Uh, the most common colors I see are green and blue in my area. Uh, so these are tapes that you can stick to most surfaces and they will fairly easily peel off uh, without leaving too much residue or that sort of thing. Uh, so an example for that would be obviously painting. So not that I do this much, but if you wanted to tape off the top of your baseboards, let's say for example, so that you paint the wall and you don't you know, accidentally touch or drip on the baseboards, you could pick the appropriate size that you need because they do come in different widths and uh, tape off your baseboard to protect it. Uh, one, one place that I use a lot of uh, painter's tape in is even just attaching poly, plastic sheathing, uh, temporarily. You know, if I'm using a dust screen or something, I can kind of hold it in there temporarily, not for a great amount of time, but I know that this tape is going to peel off a painted surface easily without removing the paint that's underneath it. Uh, another place uh, you've seen in some of my videos where I'll use painter's tape is uh, if I'm doing a bead of silicone and I'm trying to protect something from getting silicone or caulking on it, I'll roll out a bead of, or a, a string of tape and uh, protect that surface. So, so that's painter's tape, okay? Kind of self-explanatory a little bit just because of the title. Now the next thing we have that actually most people get very confused on is duct tape. Oops. So again, it comes in all kinds of different colors, camouflage, everything. Uh, I've got a few different varieties here. I'll just put a couple down. Everybody's very familiar with the basic old silver gray duct tape. Now not duct like heating duct. It's like duct like quack quack. It's that. That's the that's where people get mixed up. This is really not made for fixing any HVAC duct work, uh, heating, cooling systems. That really is not at all what this is made for. In fact, it's terrible for that because what happens over time is this dries out and it just falls off and it isn't sealing what you intended to seal. So do not use this for HVAC. This is not duct tape. It is duct tape. Now don't tape your ducts together with it either because uh, we don't approve of that type of abuse. But uh, duct tape is very universal for any other use but duct work. Uh, I mean, I see people driving down the street with their mirror taped on with duct tape because, you know, they got in an accident and somebody ripped the mirror off. You can fix almost anything with duct tape. You can fix tarp holes and tarps temporarily. Like I said, hold things up back onto your vehicles. Uh, where do I use duct tape the most? Uh, a lot of times I'll use it for uh, uh, maybe taping down again some kind of barrier on a floor to protect a floor or whatever and I'm trying to keep dust out or just protect the surface itself so anyways I've got a lot of different colors just sometimes you like it to look nice when you're fixing your car and it's a red car so you need some red duct tape right okay so that was duct tape now we've got here we've got uh, tuck tape which sounds very similar I actually think tuck tape that may actually be a brand. I'm not even 100% sure. It definitely is stamped all over this stuff, but basically it's a construction tape. Um, and again, comes in different colors. This tape though, the colors mean something. So we're all familiar with the red stuff, right? For years and years and years, we used this to seal up everything from house wraps to vapor barriers, okay? Uh, it's very unforgiving this tape if you tape it onto some kind of surface and leave it there for a bit and go to peel it off be PVC wood whatever it generally leaves a mark and it is I wouldn't say impossible to get off on some things it's impossible but it is really hard to get this off you get that red color or blue color or whatever and it just is stuck there it's it's a pain uh, so we like I said, we traditionally use this a lot in construction on a lot of different products. It sticks really well. Um, they've come out with more colors now though. What are the other colors for? Well, in my area, we have to use this blue color tape for vapor barriers now, okay? Uh, I've heard of 
inspectors actually failing inspections because you've used the red tape that we used for the last 20 years, 15 years, and didn't use the blue tape. Is there any difference between the two besides the color? I really don't think so. Sometimes I think maybe the, the glue is a little stickier on the blue tape. Maybe that's why they want us to use it. I'm not sure. Scientifically, maybe there's a difference. Look, just looking at it other than color, you can't tell. The white tape, what I like to use this for is, okay, so blue, vapor barrier, right? Red, normally for house wrap. I like to use the white for some house wrap situations where I'm wrapping uh, and sealing my house wrap to say a window frame that's PVC or aluminum or a door frame. And the reason I like to do that, or, or even to, uh, maybe you've got to seal it to some J, plastic J channel for uh, vinyl siding. I like to use the white because it doesn't show up as easily as blue or red does if you happen to get it outside of the covered area. You know, it, you know you're taping up against a window and your J channel doesn't quite cover it or you can see the tape between the J channel and the window. The white just doesn't show up as much. I've never had anybody inspector wise say that I can't use the white. I don't know specifically if there's a reason for the white, but that's what I use it for. Now we talked about the duct tape. Okay. This is really the tape you want to use for duct work, for HVAC work. This is a foil tape. So it comes with a paper backing. Well, yeah, it's kind of a wax paper. But the tape itself is a very, very thin tin foil product. This is what you want to use on any HVAC, uh, duct repairs, uh, sealing, you know, elbows, that sort of thing, dryer ducts, uh, fan ducts. This is what you want to use. It sticks very well um, and it doesn't deteriorate over time and fall off like duct tape will. So this is duct, du. C T. This is duck. D U C K. Okay. Very common mistakes in confusing the two. Okay. So we've got that. This one here is a membrane flashing tape. So this would be used uh, around. Let me just get a little bit off here. This would be used uh, for flashing, uh, like the nail fin on a on a window, for for instance, flashing for waterproofing that fin to the to the wood or to whatever you've got beside it. So again, it's kind of a got a, a uh, wax paper backing that you peel off and then it's there's a few different types, but there there's like a uh, I forget what the word is bitumous, I think might be the word uh, sticky black tar stuff on the back. OK, so it's a little bit stretchy. Uh, some of them need a primer if you're uh, sticking onto wood. Some don't, so you know, just check with the manufacturer on on those things. This sticks really well to anything aluminum or PVC or vinyl. Sticks really well to that, but sometimes on some woods it needs an extra spray on primer to make it stick better. Okay, so that was flashing membrane. This is deck joist membrane. So very similar to what we just looked at. Um, so this is getting a lot more popular now. It, it's extending the, the life of our joist systems, wooden joist systems on our decks. Um, you know, for quite a few years now, a lot of people are very familiar with composite decking. Um, you know, one of the selling points is it'll last, you know, for 50 years or whatever, forever. But the problem we were finding is, okay, you're building a deck with, um, composite decking materials on the top that you see, the part you see all looks good and lasts forever and ever, but we're having trouble with the wood structure below it that it's all, all uh, structurally standing on, deteriorating over time still. So it's not much good spending all that money on a composite that never rots or, or disintegrates when you built it on a wood base that's going to rot eventually. So they've come out with these membranes here that it's got a, I don't know if you can see, it's got a, like a plastic backing. Some of them are paper, but most, most of this deck joist ones got a plastic clear backing. And you stick this on all the tops of your joists. And what this does is it helps shed that water that was rotting out the top of the joists. Okay, that's kind of 
We can still use the wood framing, but uh, we're, we're eliminating some of the rot. This is a pretty wide one. Uh, a lot of times I buy this uh, four inch tape for deck joists um, because sometimes, you know, you got a double joist or whatever, a rim joist or, or whatever, you need this wide piece. Uh, but most of your joists obviously are only inch and a half wide. Well, I can just cut this down the middle and still do all my single joists as well. Okay, so that was joist membrane tape. Then we've got electrical tape. I think we're all pretty familiar with that. Uh, it comes in a variety of colors. This is just a, a bit of an example. Um, but it does come in uh, your typical electrical related colors of green, red, black, white. You know, those are kind of colors we all associate pretty easily with different electrical cables. Um, so obviously can be used for electrical uh, wiring situations, but it, it has a lot of other uses. Uh, one of the things I use it a lot for is band-aids. Uh, you can, you know, poke yourself, cut yourself, wrap a bit of cloth or a Kleenex or whatever on there and then wrap your finger or whatever you poked with some electrical tape. That'll get you through the end of the day until you can look after it with a band-aid or go to the doctor or whatever. So it works good as that. Uh, I use this a lot for taping, uh, you know, coils of wire together or pipe or whatever. It's, it's pretty universal. It's, if you buy a decent quality, it's got a pretty good stretch to it. Some of the cheaper ones don't really have that stretch, but something that makes electrical tape work well and uh, quality tape is when it does have some stretchiness to it. Because as you're, as you're wrapping your item and you're stretching a little bit, it, it really helps hug everything together. So, so electrical tape, pretty common item. We probably all know what that's for. Uh, you wouldn't maybe think this is is so much a construction related tape, but it is packing tape. I mean, we all know this will work fine for packing up boxes or whatever, but it, al it also sticks very well to a lot of plastics and PVCs and vinyls and that sort of thing. But it's a little bit lighter duty than say a, a house wrap tape or a, a tuck tape, okay? But again, it, it works and you do see it on the, on the job sites, so, so packing tape. Now here's a tape that a lot of people, <clears throat> you might have seen it in the store and you thought it was duct tape or some other type of tape that you're more familiar with. But this is a, this is a vinyl, really tough tape with a really good sticky surface. And uh, it's used a lot by stuccoers. So before they stucco the outside of your home, you know, they're gonna run around all your windows with tape to protect the window surface from getting stucco on it. Tape your doors, maybe you've got some kind of light fixture that was already on before the stucco job's done. This tape sticks really well, but yet it comes off pretty easy, especially within a week or two of being put on. Uh, because some tapes, you know, when you put them on an ex exterior and uh, the sun bakes them on a little bit like tuck tape, they don't always come off that good, but this, this actually peels off really well. I actually, it's a little pricey, uh, but I've even actually used this on bathtubs. Um, you know, when I'm getting ready to do a tile bathtub or shower surround, I will actually run this around the perimeter of the tub as my first layer of protection uh, from grout and tile while I'm working because it's really durable. Like it's, it's hard to puncture it's stretchy and it's, it's a good protection against little things that drop and fall. So sometimes I'll do the perimeter of my tub and then I'll come back with a plastic liner for the tub and uh, you know, duct tape or tuck tape the plastic to this tape that I put around the, the outside. I, I like it because it comes off and doesn't leave a residue. So. so those are nine tapes that I feel are pretty common maybe other than this one. Um, you know, that you're gonna need for different DIY projects. And maybe you didn't know some of the uses or some of the places you shouldn't use it. So uh, hopefully I cleared up some of those. And uh, if you have any questions about that, come to the forum and, and ask there. That's the best place to get some, some extra help or information on any question, whether it's about tapes or jackhammers, whatever. Just come to the forum. Uh, I'm gonna wrap it up. Click subscribe, click the thumbs up, check out my channel.